Hey everybody, I'm Griffin here, and welcome back to Receiver 2. Uh, we were killed because I was dumb. But we... Hmm. I hate having this block. Right. There it is. I can actually see it. All right. We went high last time, and it didn't really seem to work. We just didn't find any tapes. Also, I would like to point out that I think it was eight. It's just the light. Eight was the number of tapes we needed to find before in the first one. Eight, which, um, was a lot and was very difficult okay I'm not fucking with that that one's gonna be too hard for us to do. Just helps my paranoia out. Yeah, that one's that one's just gonna be too difficult. It's so far away. I don't know if I want to go low though. Man, I it's like I'm just playing these exact same maps in a higher resolution. I both hate it and love it. Mostly, mostly I hate it because I'm like remembering how difficult this was. Is there no way for me to get in? Nope. Pretty sure that's bulletproof glass. Oh no, shit. And I don't think I want to fuck with that. Like we found a tape. Indecision and anxiety are the natural result of disordered thoughts. Ideas have weight and potential. They exist in a sequence, linked to other concepts that precede and, and follow them. Mental exercises will forge these broken links into an unbreakable chain to harness your will. Can we also add an entry? Booger man. I finally fell asleep. For days I was too scared to even try. What if the drones find me? What if a turret materializes in the room with me? So I slept under a bed in the apartments, like a child hiding from the boogeyman, or the booger man, as my little girl used to call him. Oh, it's Louise again. Uh, Audrey had a whole raft of funny words like that, but she always, but she was always completely serious about them. Daddy is the booger man green. God, I miss her. We 
was forced to stand up on that for some reason. But immediately went back to crouching. Okay, so that means the other way leads to like a oop. Sweet. It's common knowledge that some needs are a higher priority than others. People note that in order to pursue some, others must be fulfilled first. They frame the complex situation using a, a simple, unrealistic example, like how you can't be happy if you don't have air to breathe. <laughs> well, these simplifications are used to hide more complex truths, that the body sustains the mind, and the mind sustains the body. The most present needs are in the domain of the mind. Without baseline function of thought, you can find yourself without the will to move or be. Strengthening the mind by developing focus and resilience is the goal of a technique we call mind tech. Yoga in the Park 2. They didn't push anyone to join. I could tell they were extremely cautious. We would just show up, do the guided exercises for an hour. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary for what it was. Hold this pose. Concentrate here. Breathe. And always listen. 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 I did this for months. I was curious, but also patient. Later I learned the process was called getting to baseline. Turning off lights is useful... Because uh, it lets me know where I've been. I can get a clean shot at it, so... We got five shots. Oh, Jesus, no, wrong way. Look at that. The world of the mind stretches far to the horizon. In this space, it's tempting to dwell in the past or explore possible futures. Attention flits from one distant idea to the next, visiting 100 unlikely scenarios, spreading thinner and thinner. This is the unfocused mind. In contrast, sharp focus is always concentrated on the present moment. What action do you have to take right now? Each new well, I'm just going to shoot it. The next thought and action in a correct sequence. aim a firearm correctly, you must be familiar with the sight picture, um, how the sights look when they are lined up correctly. Handgun sights almost always work in the same way. You line up the front sight in the middle of the gap in the rear sight, and make sure the top of the front sight is level with the top of the rear sight. If zeroed correctly, 
the bullet should hit right at the top of the front sight at the zero distance, and usually around 15 yards. For maximum accuracy, you should focus on your front sight, even though it makes the target look blurry. There's no point shooting at a crisp target if you can't tell if your sights are lined up. All right, there's a ladder there, but it has me concerned. But we've found so many of our tapes. I've had turrets be there, so it's an okay place for a turret to be. It's just good to know it's there. Maybe not right now, but when you're fleeing from flying robots, it's very nice to know where there are and aren't turrets. I actually think I got it. Nice. Getting its eyesight is very, very useful. It took two bullets. There's definitely a turd in here. He is just spinning like a motherfucker. Oh hell yeah, he still got it! That's one hell of a shot. That's ah, a floppy disk, not a tape. Mostly I just want to make sure it's not making noise. We can do this. I got really good at receiver. And I honestly think that that game is a lot harder than you might initially think. And there's a ladder there. Okay, there's a turret out there.
Oh, okay, it's on a turret. Well played, game. Well played. Yeah, I'm missing that way to, to know when you were close to tapes. I hope we it's like an unlock. As we need to get more. All right, this is the other side of the warehouse, but it's closed. Okay. Trash bin. I don't know. There are so many differences between going low and high. The main difference is my level of paranoia. I don't know. The thing is, you can never know you're on the lowest level. And even if you are, looking up is difficult. The, like, just enough background noise is great, by the way. Like, you don't want the game to be silent. Because then you could, hear like, hear the turrets whirring and stuff like that. So they added, like, there there is the, the background music, the operatic. It's not quite operatic. It's, like, choral. I don't know how to... Properly describe it. Ooh, that was bad. Got it. That's not right. Beautiful. Five shots. I think I see a tape in there. Just getting used to that sensitivity. I think that's a tape. The most important yes. virtue of a receiver is mental resilience and the only way to build resilience is to practice rebounding from adversity. Oh, baby. All right. So, uh, I guess that was, wow, that was only 20 minutes. That felt like an eternity. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It felt like an eternity. Um, I guess we can start another one. Okay. This is a personal line. So there's something weird happening to time. Ever since I wake up after the mind kill, I have felt increasingly disengaged from any notion of time and space. I don't know how long I've been here or how long I've been fighting. I seem to be alive and I can make progress by studying the tapes and get closer to the truth. I guess that's what I should do. A 
Oh, goody. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Uh, holster weapon. Oh, tab. Okay. Pull back slide. Yeah, see, here's the problem. We don't have a bullet. Um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, release the slide lock. Magazines. Oh, I haven't done any of this. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I have no bullets, by the way. None whatsoever. I'm putting my gun away to remind me of that. Oh no, I do have bullets. Interesting. Um, insert magazine. See. All right. So worth noting, trying to fire now. There's nothing. I have to pull back the slide, and now we've chambered around. I pretty much know everything that I know about guns from this game. And how they work. Sorry, I have to pull it back, not just tap it. Had what, five shots? We're still looking for five tapes. I am not alone. Oh, good. We're on a progression here. I was wrong, I'm not alone. Well, I am, but kind of. But I'm finding things that have clearly been left behind by other receivers. Notes, messages. So there must be others. But where the heck are they? I have to find them. All right, I am certainly going to attempt to be cautious here. Flashlights are useful, but only so useful. Especially because they alert things to your presence. Oh, there we go, a turret. Uh, killing a turret can... Oh, there's a pane of glass there. Funny. It's good to know. I should probably try and kill the turret. Okay, then, then comes the fun part, because I now have to eject the magazine, holster the gun, put them in, unholster the gun, put it in. We still have a round chamber, though, so I don't need to pull back the slide. It's a good hack. <laughs> Nothing. 
or over here. No, okay, so I gained two bullets. And more more accurately, some, some valuable experience in hacking turrets. I thought I thought enough of the stairwell was in the way that it wouldn't see me. I put yeah. This is like you can't see me if I can't see you. Uh so okay, we we should uh we should end here. Oh. <gasps> I've been demoted. Oh. Well, damn. Okay. Okay. This is going to be intense then. There's a whole new level of pressure cuz now I need to go up another rank before I get back to where I started. This means that I will be even more cautious, um, which is fine by me, right? Like, being cautious isn't a bad thing. But it means that I'll be more cautious than ever before. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. There's definitely, I definitely am liking this game a lot. Um, I'm not surprised by this at all, not even a little bit, but it's still worth noting. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you next time. And until then, keep your gears turned.